the northwest coast uh, we call it an elbow ads um, kind of because it's you know shaped like an elbow and the handle is made from a tree branch uh, an alder tree branch for this one when we're going to be using an ads uh, an ads is a very efficient tool um, it can be used to remove a lot of wood at once and or it can be used as a very fine carving instrument. Um, I think when people look at an ads they kind of see it as maybe a, a bulky clunky tool and um, that is that is definitely not the case. Once you once you actually really master the use of the ads um, you can really do a lot of fine detail carving or a lot of uh, roughing out. When you're using ads uh, you, you have to be very careful that you go with the grain if you go against the grain, especially with red cedar, what you're going to find is that the wood is going to split and giant pieces will pop off. Uh, you'll feel like you're chopping kindling. So the very first thing you want to do, we're going to take and, and start rounding this off a little bit, um, is to check which direction the, wood, the grain is going. And so on this here, it seems like the grain is going this direction. If I turn it around the other way, now, this is a really nice piece of wood, so sometimes you can get away going against the grain. It's, but you can see right here that it's instead of slicing, it's starting to split off. So I, I definitely want to go the other direction. So if I wanted to round this whole block of wood off, say like for a whistle blank or something, instead of having to take a knife and really go at it by hand, I can just uh, and the grain switched on me again. start rounding it off. Now if I really was getting in somewhere um, tight and I needed to make little tiny fine cuts, with an ads, um, the further down on the handle you hold it, the less it bites into the wood and the further up on the handle you hold it, the bigger bite it takes into the wood. So you have to keep that in mind. So if I want to take off little tiny pieces, I'm going to hold the ads further down. I'm going to kind of lock my elbow against the side of my body and I want to just kind of use the weight of the ads and see if I can hit the very same spot. That's one thing my dad made me practice. He said, you know what, when you're using ads you have to be able to hit the same spot over and over. And so, you know, I can take off little itty bitty shavings I can plan just exactly where I'm going all the way down. So an ads can be a tool that delicate, or I can get more aggressive, and I can start, you know, really taking some wood off. Ads are also used for adding texture. This is not um, a texture ads, but a texture ads will have a narrower um, handle that has some spring to it, and usually the bevel is on the opposite side and that's meant for when you hit your piece of wood it's going to immediately come out of the wood and leave a very nice little chip and that's um, referred to as ads texturing and you usually come in at an angle and then go straight down and, and you can create a, a beautiful texture that way. This particular ads um, you can buy them from makers or uh, you can make an ad yourself. Uh, like I said, this was just a, a tree branch um, attached to an alder tree and it was a small tree and the tree was cut down and then using a bandsaw or chainsaw you can cut it smaller and, and you look for a branch that gives you, you know, the angle that you want. Um, if the angle is too far out then you have to hold the ads a little bit down further and if it's down really far that makes it kind of difficult so as a carver you just kind of learn um, the angle that you like. Now the blade for this um, my dad Jack Hudson uh, he found value in, in turning um, car leaf springs into ads blades and so uh, you can make an ads blade out of really any any steel as long as it's kind of a good high carbon steel if you'd like. Um, he found that a car leaf spring has a natural 
little curve to it and that spring steel um, is very high quality and and it's uh, it does have a little spring to it so that when you you're using it um, it's not going to break on you or anything like that they're still made just like they were a long time ago and it, they really haven't found a replacement tool for the ads and so it's it's still holding its own uh, today so it's a it's an excellent tool